Hi guys, I've got great news for you. The position comes with respect. Disrespect me as a person, but the emblem on my neck. that the Big Brother Ninja Shanghai Eye reunion was in its filming stage. Guys, I was super excited and to be very frank with you all, I had so many questions, I had so many expectations, I literally had to go ahead and create a video, you know, of my expectations directed at Ebuka mm -hmm, on the kind of questions to ask the housemates because of the things that we had seen um, whilst the show was still on and yes guys I did that video out of so much excitement but much later um, after I heard that the filming of the reunion had ended in just two weeks guys <laughs> reality kicked in yes and the realization dawned on me that hey glory this is the reunion and we know what happens during the reunion there's a lot of edits there's a lot of cut and paste there's a lot of um omission of information there's a lot of your expectations just being washed down the drain you know simply because you know brace yourself up to the reality that hey it is not every single thing that you expect that you actually get to get when the reunion starts and so i thought okay why not go ahead and do a video on tips on what not to expect from the reunion because to be very frank with you all it is not everything that we expect that we are actually going to see so um on this video that is what i'm going to be doing exactly but before i start let me first of all welcome all of you back to my youtube channel officially you are welcome my name is gloria elijah this is frankly speaking with glory i am the girl with the tea that said let's quickly get into the video but first off it's quite interesting when for every season of the big brother ninja reunion show we find a lot of people online who keep on directing questions at ebuka whilst the reunion is being aired on tv so people are like oh ebuka that question you asked this particular housemate yesterday ah tomorrow please ask the housemates this other question right i find it quite interesting and partially hilarious because even though we know that the show is pre-recorded, a lot of people still do not know that the show is actually pre-recorded, right? What does that mean? Um, filming process, it's gone through filming, right? Um, set up a stage, everybody sits down, they talk, they iron out their issue or they fight, they get all dramatic and all of that. And then um, somebody takes the, the time and energy to edit it, put the very, very entertaining part of it, put the very, very um, catchy part, right? The part that's gonna officially draw traffic to the show so that's going to be basically interesting, right? We don't want to, um, it's not going to be a case of you see the housemates sitting down and just blabbing and blabbing. No, I mean, if they were going to put every single thing that the housemates say into um, all the clips, all the episodes, it's going to be kind of boring. So uh, it's pre recorded. That's what I'm just basically trying to say. It's pre recorded. So the first thing is do not expect to be giving Ibuka more questions when the reunion show is being aired on TV episode by episode and expecting that Ibuka is going to take your suggestions and then use it on the next episode. Nah, it's never going to happen. It's pre-recorded. Ibuka is just going to be chilling at home just as all of us are going to be chilling at home with the rest of the housemates to watch what has been recorded. All right? Now, that is the first thing. The second thing is do not, for any reason, expect 100% realness from the housemates. And I'll tell you why. Um, number one, most of them they are brand influencers now they are brand ambassadors now uh, most of them they are signed on to management that has done a lot of work you know a lot of pr cleaning their images cleaning their reputations rebranding them yes and so right now you see that most of the housemates they will be extremely guarded yes they'll be extremely guarded most of the mess they created whilst they were in biggest house you will see that they will tend to start creating or should i say feigning um selective amnesia yeah some of them will say they don't remember <laughs> 
I mean, we've seen a lot of that happen over time, you know, from reunion to reunion. So it's nothing new anymore, right? So we're going to see a lot of them, you know, just faking a lot of things. And a lot of them are just going to automatically turn a new leaf like the people you saw in the house being all wild and crazy yes they are not going to be the same of course and it's not really a bad thing guys to be very frank with you but the part that i really do have a problem with is those ones that tend to now have selective amnesia mm, that is when you find out that certain questions that Ibuka will ask they will say they don't remember and then those ones that will even remember, they will now start lying or even doing the principle of omission of information like, oh no, this is not what, what, what happened or what you saw is not what actually happened. Like we're actually blind. Yes. Yeah. So guys, just to guard your heart as well, just to be on the safe side, not to give yourself a headache, especially for those of you that are fans turned fanatics, <laughs> guard yourself properly because a lot of unrealness is going to be on full display trust me but as i was explaining some of these housemates are now they now have a brand to protect or represent right so it is now their prerogative to protect those brands right protect the the agreement that they have with those brands and i think that was why during the last reunion we saw how guarded nengi was nengi wasn't giving anything away nengi did a whole lot in that lockdown mansion but then during the reunion Nengi was literally maintaining a cool all through all the episodes. Nengi was not like there was no raw food feathers with Nengi. Yeah, there was no raw food feathers at all. And not just Nengi, you know, a couple of other housemates. But then remember during the lockdown reunion, we had certain housemates that did not have the balls, you know, to do crazy in the house. And then during the reunion, they decided to use the opportunity to do crazy, right? And which brings me to the next tip of what not to expect don't expect the same old same old kind of housemates they are those ones who did not have the chance or the opportunity or even the time to show the dramatic part of them guys just know that they will come and they will display and you'll be shocked or you'll be surprised or you'll be disappointed right but in all do not expect much from them do not expect them to be the way they were for those of you just like me inclusive that are already bracing yourselves and expecting that most of the scenes and clips that Kayo did, did not show us that Ibuka is definitely going to show us during the reunion uh, apologies in advance you just might be really disappointed and my advice to you is do not expect much from that angle because trust me you might not see a lot of those clips at all yes i'll give you a for instance during the previous reunion um i mean it was on the reunion show that we heard that dorothy had actually given bright toe is it a bj or a hand job i don't even know which one it is yes but it was on the reunion that we heard it and we did not get the opportunity to see it play out right and there were a lot of other things that we heard during the reunion and we still did not see clips about them right so it was now left to us taking the word of mouth from the housemates you know whether they were lying or whether they were actually saying the truth so for this shine your eye reunion my advice is do not place too much expectations on that regard that oh Ibuka is going to show us all the clips that we missed out on remember Ibuka is also an employee of multi-choice right and multi-choice has to abide by certain rules from nbc and all whatnot i mean they can also choose to indulge us or not to indulge us so the advice is do not expect too much all right whatever you see you take remember the show is pre-recorded okay, so this one is gonna crack you all up and hey it's all based off of what I saw on Twitter right so someone was literally stating that or tweeting that they were expecting that during the reunion um, those housemates that have actually received Ben's as gifts from their fans are gonna come up front and tell us you know who those fans are or just basically just reveal the information I mean I was just over here I was just cracking up I'm like eh hey, seriously eh hey? so in your mind you actually do believe that these housemates they're gonna come up front and provide that kind of detailed information <laughs> ladies and gentlemen my advice don't expect anything because it's never gonna happen Mm, you and I know it's never gonna happen and as for those invisible fans <laughs> If you know you know eh? if you don't know forget about it last but not the least do not for any reason expect Ibuka to prove 
deeply, deeper than you expect. Yes, guys, the reason for that is sometimes <laughs> it's not up to Ebuka how the show should go. Just know that Ebuka is not 100% the only person running the show, all right? Also know that Ebuka is also working as per instructed, all right? So those of you that take it upon yourself that during the reunion you'll be dragging Ebuka unnecessarily, please, I used to feel that way, that oh, Ebuka, Ebuka is biased, Ebuka will ask this housemate this question and not ask this housemate this question, especially as how it happened um, during the lockdown reunion, yeah, when Erica was not asked a lot of questions, when Kidwaya was not asked a lot of questions, I was livid, I was pissed. In my head, I was just thinking that, okay, fine, who is actually, you know, paying the piper or dictating the tune? Now, what the hell is going on? But then, over time, I, you know, I watched um, some of Ebuka's interviews and from some of the things he said about not being the one calling the shots, you know, it kind of piped down my anger that, okay, fine, this dude is just doing his job, right? He's just doing what he's directed to do. So, for those of you that take it upon yourself to go and wage war against Ebuka's wife and kids, please slow your roll calm down as i said at the start of this video if you do not expect too much then you will not be overly disappointed all right and have it at the back of your mind that just like biggest show like the big brother niger show you know season by season the reunion is also a show right um in as much as the organizers are also using the reunion to give us the viewers another opportunity another final opportunity to get to witness the drama from these housemates to get to see our faves in action once again right they are also using the reunion as another opportunity to create entertainment and also of course to make money right so um just have fun enjoy the show don't expect too much right have your expectations no doubt but don't expect too much to the point of breaking your head over it now i'm sure that a lot of you have your own um, tips on what not to expect so just go ahead let me know in the comment section below and i'll see you guys all up on another episode of practice period real elijah do you have an amazing day bye